Hey everyone, and welcome to the first bonus uh, tutorial video. Um, I'm going to do three videos. I've decided I'm doing an HTML video that's dedicated just to writing out the HTML, one video that's dedicated to just doing the CSS, and a third video that's dedicated to just uh, the JavaScript. And we'll be using the jQuery library, which we've been using all along. And um, what we'll be building is this little thing that I threw together this afternoon. It's just a really simple slider. There's tons of tutorials online for this stuff already, but I'm gonna go ahead and do one. So you can kind of see the logic behind my coding and maybe it'll help you decipher um, the CMS that we have built in the previous tutorials. So I have a tiny head start. I have created this title and it's just called School Tutorial. Uh, obviously I've already created the base structure for the page. I have included a link to the style sheet, which will be style.css. We don't even have the file yet, but we'll create it in the next tutorial. And we're pulling in uh, Google's jQuery, the latest edition, 1.5.2, and we will be pulling in a script.js file that will include our jQuery uh, code. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing I want to do is create a wrapper. So div ID equals wrapper. And what this is going to do is it's essentially going to wrap everything inside of it. Everything that we code will be wrapped inside of this. Um, the next thing I want to do is create a title. I think I did this awesome accordion. You can name yours whatever you want. It doesn't matter. And then now it's time to start building the accordion itself. So we're going to use an h2 tag because we are titling each section of the accordion. And let's actually give them a class of accordion. And we'll make it a link. So we'll do a href equals pound. Um, we'll use jQuery to attach itself to that link. And we can name these whatever we want. We'll name this, uh, this is accordion slider number one. Slash a, and then slash h2. So essentially we have an h2 tag, then we wrap the title itself in a link that's called this is accordion slider number one. Next, we want to do the container itself that we'll have the content within. So we'll do div class, and we'll name it something accordingly like accordion uh, container. And let's go ahead and close that out. And then within that, we're going to, uh, just to give us some spacing, we're going to do a div class of block. And then within that, let me go ahead and close that out. Within that, we will do our tag. So we'll do a p tag, and we'll close out our p tag. And then within the p tag, let's insert some more of them. So this is just placeholder text, but you can see exactly how it works. Let me clean that up a little bit. And now we can honestly just copy and paste this over and over again. So Get the whole thing, copy it, say enter a couple times, make sure you're all the way back and just paste it. And we'll actually fix the indenting on that in a second. So now we have four of these. You can make as many as you want. It doesn't really matter. And a couple things I've kind of already messed up here. We can get rid of the awesome accordion. We don't need that. We only want the title one time, so get rid of all those. And let's go ahead and get our indentions right. So just highlight everything and hit the tab couple or one time. We'll line everything up. And then let's come back here and name these number two, number three, and number four. And you can name yours whatever you want. And I'm just using the same placeholder text just to give you, just so you can know that they're a little different. I'll actually break this up a little bit. We'll get some variations of sizes going. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just cutting the arbitrary size because it doesn't matter. But now they're a little bit different, so we'll be able to tell that we're pulling in different sections. And basically, that does it for the HTML side of things. That's all there is to it. So just go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and hit preview. And this is what we should have. You should have four different sections with a title. In the next lesson, we'll be doing the CSS, and then we'll style all this.